is that when you set out to redefine an industry and redefine instrumentation, you want to be sure you get those software and hardware architectures right. And for National Instrument, that means finding industry leaders that we can engage as partners and customers to help during the development of the product to ensure that when it comes out, it meets all of their needs. And so with that, I'm happy to introduce Doug Johnson, the Director of Engineering at Qualcomm Atheris, to share how they're already using the new vector signal transceiver. Doug. Doug, nice to have you. Thank you, Charles. Hey, Doug. Thank Thanks. Eric. Thanks for joining us. For more than a decade, Qualcomm Atheros has been a leader in next generation wireless technologies in networking, consumer electronics, computing, and mobile wireless communications. Today, we are evolving high throughput wireless technologies such as Wi Fi to meet the demands of emerging communication applications. On my team at Qualcomm Atheros, we are testing our latest, uh, it's a three radio MIMO transceiver that's designed for the emerging gigabit Wi-Fi standard 802.11ac. So Doug, can you tell us a little bit more about the challenges that your team is facing? Well, as wireless standards become more complex, the number of operational modes is increasing. As we approach this new WLAN standard, we have new modulation rates, we have more channels, we have more filter bandwidth settings, and we have additional spatial streams. Obviously, more modes means more measurements. In addition, the characterization of our device is particularly challenging because we have hundreds of thousands of independent gain settings inherent in our design. <laughs> that seems pretty complex. So wh where does all this complexity come from? Well, here's an example block diagram of a typical WLAN receiver. Design engineers rely upon the ability to select one of several potential gain settings at each stage of the radio design. As you can see on the slide, this geometric progression of multiple independently selectable gain settings compels us to characterize the device over hundreds of thousands of settings. Wow, hundreds of thousands. Uh, it sounds like a lot of measurements to me. So can you tell us about your current test system? Well, Charles, we are using the new PXI vector signal transceiver because it has the built-in FPGA, which allows us to control the digital interface to our device simultaneously with the RF signal generator and analyzer within the instrument. This allows us to have dramatically improved characterization times, and ultimately enables us to better understand the performance of our radios. Okay, so I, I got what you said. You're using the digital lines to control the device under test, and then doing measurements coordinated with that with the RF inputs and the RF outputs. Um, so can you, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been using in the past? In our previous rack and stack instrumentation, we had our tests fully automated, but our test times were slow. As a result, we had to rely upon we, we could only characterize 30 or 40 ch channel settings at, at any time. As a result, um, we had to use an iterative estimation approach to determine the best possible gain settings in the device. We would have weeks of characterization regression as, because this process was both time intensive and iterative, test, rinse, repeat. As we switched to the NI vector signal transceiver, we found that the characterization times were improved so dramatically that we are now able to characterize the entire gain table sweep for the device in one insertion rather than the iterative approach. This allows us to determine the optimum gain table settings empirically and enables us to explore additional operational modes in because of our better understanding of the device performance. Yeah, the graph is pretty amazing when you take a look at it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of points on that graph, and so I'm imagining that measurement time must be really, really important to you. What have you been able to achieve? Well, to put it in perspective, we started with traditional rack and stack instruments back in 2001. But as our devices evolve to meet the new WLAN standards, 
we found that our test times were becoming a real problem. About five years ago, as we were developing our 802.11n chipset, we started using your PXI RF signal generators and analyzers. This gave us about a 10x improvement in test time, which was just enough to keep pace with the additional design complexity. Over the past year, the ability to integrate digital control with RF measurements using your vector signal transceiver has allowed us to achieve much faster test times. We are now today seeing a 20x improvement in test time over the previous PXI solution, which is 200 times faster than your original equipment. That 200 times faster is, is pretty amazing, and I think it serves as a fantastic example about how including multiple things together with that central FPGA can yield pretty dramatic results. You know, Doug and his team at, at Qualcomm, uh, by coordinating the digital I.O. with the RF measurements, uh, seeing 200 times measurement speed, uh, absolutely fantastic, Doug. I really want to appreciate you being here today. Well, thank you, Doug. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Today we've seen how an amazing new measurement technology, the world's first vector signal transceiver, uh, can behave as a traditional instrument, only much faster with better accuracy at lower power, lower cost, and much smaller footprint. Uh, but we've also seen how the inclusion of a LabVIEW programmable FPGA allows customers to use this amazing device in ways to solve problems that they have never been able to solve before. Uh, but I think the thing that I'm looking forward to the most as we're rolling this product out today is what you, our customers, and the applications that you're going to solve with the amazing new world's first software-designed instrument. Thank you very much. Awesome, Charles. Thank you.